Happy New Year. This is Luke Thomas, QuakeConnection.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.37 p.m. in the evening on Friday, January 1st, 2021. So great to be in a new year. All right. First, we're going to go over to uh, see the quakes that have happened in the next, uh, the last 24 hours or so. And first of all, we have a few quakes here in uh, Chile, three of them up here in the Northeast in Antofagasta, and one here Southeast of Santiago. All right, the one Southeast of Santiago is down here in the 45% range area. And the, uh, these three here up in the Northeast are right here in this area here. Uh, one of them here, this one here is the uh, 4.5. And that one is across the border here in Argentina, right in there. And the other two are across the border in Chile. So this is the highest risk area, in Northwest Argentina. And so we're pretty close on that, pretty close on that one. All right, we have uh, three quakes down uh, south of Guatemala, 5.0 and a 4.4 and a 4.3. And those quakes occurred in our 70% to 75% area of risk here in our uh, Central America forecast. And this one southeast of Tokyo here, 4.7, hit in our warning area here at a 90% warning area southeast of Tokyo. Nothing going on in uh, Greece and Italy right now. And quiet in, uh, in the Anchorage, Alaska area. And uh, pretty quiet in Idaho, except for this 2.6 there. And that occurred in the 75% risk area there. All right, so pretty quiet across the, the world today. However, things are gonna change tonight. We're gonna do our forecast now, for the global forecast. We'll start with uh, California. And we're hours away from a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay Area, most likely, or in Central California. So looking for a strong 6.0 to 7.0 earthquake during the next, well, this is now 12 hours. So between uh, now 9 p.m. through nine o'clock in the morning, a strong earthquake will hit Central California, most likely in the Southern portion of San Francisco Bay. So be prepared for that. It is on its way. And, uh, Alaska forecast. Uh, risk still remains for the 2nd and the 3rd of January down here near Kodiak Island. And uh, if you notice here on our quakeprediction.com, we've got really good advertisements on the side here. Uh, and then uh, on the 3rd to the 4th of January in Alaska, we could get a 5.0 larger west of Anchorage. So watch for that on the 3rd or 4th of January. All right. And then in uh, Chile, the Chile forecast. Again, this risk here in the Northeast for the first to the third. And then it would, we could get a more significant quake, maybe even a maybe a 5.5 or a six in the Northeast part or in the uh, Copiapo, across from Copiapo here on the border with Argentina here, uh, maybe even a 6.0 on the third into the fourth of January. All right, let's take a look at Italy, Italy forecast. Still remaining a uh, risk in the far south from maybe a 4.0 in the south, southern fourth portion of uh, Italy. And then the second and the third here of 80% risk across the north central part. And this is interesting here, the third and fourth of January in Italy. And this is uh, from in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina over here, a 5.0 is possible. Bosnia and Herzegovina, and then Denimo and Pescara over in Italy here. So 5.0 is possible in this east central portion of Italy or in Bosnia, Herzegovina area over here on, on the other side on the 3rd or 4th of January. So watch for that. Interesting. All right, in Japan, this risk remains down the southeast of Tokyo the second and the third, and then the third and the fourth of January, the risk kind of dissipates. We've got a 75% risk offshore here 
and a little bit of risk up here in uh, near Sapporo and Hokkaido on the third and the fourth. But the risk remains here southeast uh, near Chiba, Shizuoka, in that area during the next uh, second of the third of January. All right, and then on the Philippines, we have a high risk on the first and the second in far north part of the Philippines. And then on the third and the fourth, down in the southeast portion of the Philippines. All right, in Greece, most of the risk is up in Albania on the second and the third. And then a little bit of risk down here in Crete on the third and the fourth. And the third and fourth, uh, the far, far north portion of Albania. There's a 90% risk there. All right, Central America. Again, that risk from the 1st to the 3rd of January here near Guatemala and the southern portion of Mexico. And again, the 5.0 to 5.5 is still possible in the southern or eastern portion of Panama into Colombia. And then the risk begins to diminish on the 3rd and the 4th in both, both of those locations, but still in the same location. Ecuador and Peru. We still have that risk in Colombia and then uh, off the coast of Ecuador, the western coast of Ecuador, the first and the second. And here's an interesting situation on the uh, third and the fourth of January. We could get a 5.5 earthquake or larger in southwest Ecuador and far northwest Peru, on the third and the fourth of January. Indonesia. 70% risk in the far northwest, the first through the third. And then that diminishes a little bit and we have a small moderate risk down here in the south on the third and fourth of January. And the Taiwan forecast, we could get a 5.5 on the northern portion of Taiwan on the first through the third. And then that risk diminishes on the third through the fourth to 70%, but it looks like we did something significant uh, near Taipei in the north here, or even offshore on the 1st to the 3rd of January. And the Caribbean forecast here, most of the risk is diminished in the northeast portion of the Caribbean. And again, uh, four points are as possible in Venezuela here on the 1st to the 3rd. And the 3rd through the 4th of January, 80% um, risk in the Southern Caribbean. Seattle, Washington, click on that. And the 1st through the 3rd, the risk is mostly in Idaho here, 70, 75 to 85%. All these maps you can see over at quickprediction.com. We got rid of the advertisements on the side, so it'll be easier for you to navigate. Also on the 3rd and the 4th, January, we get a 5.0 offshore southwest uh, portion of uh, Oregon on the 3rd and the 4th of January. All right, and the Cyprus Turkey forecast is 55% um, risk in uh, Italy, or not Italy, I'm sorry, that's uh, Iraq. And then 70% risk on the 3rd through the 4th in Western Cyprus. But pretty quiet across. Uh, Turkey, Cyprus, Syria, Iraq, on the 1st through the 3rd and the 3rd through the 4th, pretty quiet. And we added another forecast, pretty exciting. We've got a Hawaii forecast here. On the 2nd and 3rd of January, uh, 4.0 is possible offshore, maybe even close to Hilo, Hawaii, on the 2nd into the 3rd of January. All right, thank you so much for uh, stopping by today here at quickprediction.com and the YouTube channel. Be sure to uh, subscribe. Thank you very much. Tell your friends about us and tell your friends also that we took the advertisements off the quickprediction.com so that it's easier to navigate for you over there. And uh, happy new year. Very exciting new year. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow night. Wow, we need to go back real quick and look at the... Uh, Then go back there real quick.
I wanted to uh, go to the uh, Los Angeles forecast once more. This is a serious situation uh, in the uh, southern San Francisco Bay and central California from Santa Maria to Ridgecrest to Ramad Lakes and the most likely chances in the southern San Francisco Bay. Strong earthquake in the next 12 hours, look for that and uh, be prepared for that this evening into tomorrow morning. Thanks for following us here at quickprediction.com and we will talk to you tomorrow night, every night, keeping you safe here at quickprediction.com and the earthquake channel, earthquakechannel.com as well. Thank you so much and we'll talk to you tomorrow.